Uh, the only thing is, is that my mic, I got the buttons confused, so I thought it was talking, and it was muted. So we're going to have, uh, we're going to correct that this time through. In fact, the only audio that came from the microphone last time I played was uh, burps. So we're going to try and have 100% less burps and about 90% more game audio. Um, Claire's story usually is a bit tougher for me personally. Then Leon's, I like having the shotgun, I like having the magnum. So, we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna skip the cutscenes this time. Just because, well, that took forever last time. I can obviously upload them later in another video. Uh, but right now, I just wanna see if we can do this Claire run with no saves and get an S+. So back at the Mizoil. Hello? Let's see what's going on here. Oh, guy Are with a hole okay? in his neck. He's totally not okay. I'll check it out. I got this. Don't come any closer. I'm totally gonna get bit by this guy. I can feel it. Reload that gun. Don't bite me, Mr. Zombie. Alright, he didn't bite us. We still have four bullets in the chamber. Just uh, the Arclay Sheriff there, bleeding out. Soon to turn into a zombie, I'm sure. Let's get out of here. Move, Claire. Like totally like a nightmare. Oh. Get some ice cream bars, get some Slim Jims on the road. Oh. Alright, back in Raccoon City. Making our way to the police station. Attention all citizens. Dude. <laughs> Gotta keep moving. Keep on moving, Claire. Your family's built for this. Your brother, yourself. You can handle any type of zombie apocalypse. It's actually worse than a zombie apocalypse simply. I mean, because there's like mutants. Not just zombies. I love this game so much. I mean, I've loved Resident Evil since they first came out, but this one in particular is just it's such a great game. All right. Anybody here? Anybody? Nobody alive, really. And the people who are alive aren't alive for long. This is Lion Branch Bird. Give me my medallion. Let's get this handgun ammo over here. Love how they have the music on here too. So good. Everything about this game I just love. drop this metal off and we got to go see a cop get bisected I could go upstairs and get the clip for the other handgun but I'm not that worried about it at this time right now if I was playing Leon's story I would go up there just to get the muzzle real quick so I can attach it to this gun already keep out she's a rebel she doesn't listen 
rides motorcycles, carries handguns. Alright. Focus, Claire. Focus. You got this, Claire. Turn the lights on because I'm scared of the dark. I like how she can move this cabinet, but the cabinet before you fight Birkin the first time, she's unable to move it. I guess there could be heavier stuff in it. Oh, oh my god. Open up! Hurry! So many Open dead bodies. Up. Open this goddamn door! I'm Open here, door. I'm here. Hurry up! Hurry up! We got your notebook. Oh, you dead. Come on, Mr. Officer, Mr. Officer. They're everywhere. Shit. There's so much blood. Oh, I can't believe I got grabbed up there. This is a strong start. Let's get them all to come out then. Run, Claire. I should have got that first aid spray from the bathroom. Come on. I'm probably gonna leave those boards. Unless we get some criticals here. That was a hit. Oh, I'm just throwing ammo away. Oh, we gonna die. Yes, we are. Oh my god, I'm shooting like shit. Such a poor start. I haven't had a poor start in this bad ages. Oh well. We should be able to rebound. We gotta get past these guys somehow though. Oh shit. Yeah. That's it for the ammo. Alright, we gotta try and make this smooth. Well, that was a terrible start, but we got out of it. Come on, Marvin, give us a hand. So nobody knows what caused this? It's Umbrella. Umbrella caused it. Rocky start, Claire, but you can bounce back. You got that red filled blood going through your veins. Alright. Get a little bit of the herb. Get some more handgun ammo. Oh, the original liquor hallway. So many memories shared here. Pretty sure I died a lot in this hallway. In this game and the old game. I ain't got time for you, undead lady. Not right now. I'll deal with you later. Fat zombie at the vending machine. Oh, got a critical. That's good. I always enjoy when their heads pop. Such a satisfying sound. Alright, get up, bro. Come on, I gotta get my speed loader and you're standing between us. Damn, he's a tough motherfucker, ain't you?
use that gunpowder. I know about gunpowder. So let's get this first. I'm gonna go with Ned. MRG. Now we got the speed loader, which helps out a whole lot, because that gun reloads so slow. And let's open up this, 9.15.7. Get the fanny pack, that 90s goodness, there we go. You know how to accessorize, Claire. Oh, he didn't even get back up. Let's get this ammo. Oh, sounds like he's getting up. Want all the ammo I can hold right now. Yeah, he's definitely getting up. Come on through the door then. Come on, buddy. I got something for you. Wow. Alright, I don't need to drop you. You're not gonna follow me out here. I'll deal with you when I come back. You want inside? If you're cold, they're cold. Let them in. Well, Mr. Zombie, I'm not letting you in. Sorry. You stay out there. Let's pick this up. More handgun ammo, get the red herb from the back here. Mix that up. Drop it off. Okay, Claire. Did he bust out of there? He did not. You're hungry. What are you doing, bro? Come on, get a bullet in the head. No, you don't want one? Well, you're getting one. Life isn't fair. Even for zombies. Okay. Cap. Then we're gonna have to do this little safe coming up here, which I suck at. They usually take me a lot longer than they should. Let's see. Wait, it's this, this, this. Come on, you got it. No, you don't. Okay, it's this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Yay! I've definitely spent a lot longer time on those before, so... I'm happy with it. You getting back up, Mr. Zombie? No, you good? Alright, you just sleeps in your own bloods for a bit. DCM. That freaking mannequin shadow. So well placed. You expect something to be there, and then there's not. Then you play the B campaign, and there is something there. They knew what they were doing. Such a well designed game. 
I'm looking forward to the remake of Nemesis. Felt like that's going to be pretty awesome. I just seen the day that they had the it modifier, or the it mod, and I thought that was pretty sweet looking. I feel like there's so many types of games they could do that kind of fit into this mold that would be enjoyable. I'd love to see like a Terminator game where you're going up against like the T-1000. Why? What's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. I got you, Marvin. My half-dead friend. I mean, we're not really even friends. I mean, we could become friends, possibly. We're not gonna be friends, though, lady. Remember the first... For so long when I was playing this, I had no idea that you could move all the cases at once. And I thought you had to move each one individually, which was a huge pain in the ass. We have horrible inventory management right now, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, and I used to like, oh, I struggled so much with the first Mr. X when I would come up against him. I had no idea what to do or where I was going. I died a whole lot. You got the intel, don't you, Marvin? Yeah, you do. All right, we gotta backtrack. We gotta get so much more shit. Let's open that up. We're gonna drop some of this handgun ammo off. We're gonna drop this knife off. Store half of it. Don't need that, don't need that. All right, let's go get this shit. So I guess we'll go up and we'll get the extended clip and that green herb. Uh, I need the library book now. Get the library book and this medallion first. You get that gunpowder that's back here too. Oh, we can get this knife. The statue code is fish, scorpion, fish, scorpion, what's the third one? Pitcher. Alright, unicorn medallion acquired. Let's drop this shit off. That zombie's having himself a nice meal right now. We're gonna have to pick up the weapon card and the red jewel. So let me drop off this. We gotta get those boards. Let's drop that off. We're good. And then we're gonna backtrack through the initial liquor hallway before having the helicopter crash into the building because. That hallway can get so squirrely if you allow it. I just don't want to have to deal with a bunch of zombies and a liquor. What is this? 6211? It is 6211. We did not account for this in our inventory though, so we're not going to pick it up right now. Or the green herb. Oh, we're gonna get rid of the key here though, so we'll have room. Hopefully, hopefully. Get rid of this key. Come here, Mr. Weapon Card. Come here, severed statue hand. Give me your holy scepter, a oh, robed one. There you go. It's all mine. My precious, precious gem. All right. Let's 
board those walls up or those windows. We can get the grenade launcher, put the key into the panel, and then we're gonna be on our way to causing a helicopter to crash and eventually getting a Birkin once we get the maiden medallion. Now there should be one zombie walking around in here right now compared to the like three or four that you can get if you allow these windows to stay on board it. Where you at? Are you gonna be back here aren't you? How close are you? And you ain't that close, you ain't even paying attention. What's up? Come on, get shot in the head. Come on, go down. Thank you. Alright, we good. Step off at the weapons room. Stop off at the weapons room, that is. Deal with this zombie. Where you at, bro? I know you're in here. You must be way back there. Okay. I hear you groaning. I'll put you out of your misery real quick. Crit. That's good. Won't have to worry about him when I swing back through here. The juiciness that the grenade launcher is. So helpful. Still not as good as the shotgun in Magnum combo though. Let's drop all this stuff off, and then we're gonna head and go where we should have been gone long ago. Don't need any of that. We're gonna take an extra knife, though. Drop that off. Oh, we're not gonna need that. That's fine. Where are you at? Oh, you totally made me startle. Where are you at, bro? Yeah, that was... That was shocking. Totally lost you there for a second. Alright. And we're getting a lot of headshots early on which makes it easier to travel through here, but then I wonder, am I going to not get as many headshots when we get to, say, like, the lab at the end? Either way, these paths are pretty clear for us, so that's good. That'll be a problem for future Claire. I've just been leaving Leon to wait out by that door if this was actually how canon played out. It's alright, Leon doesn't seem to care for Claire the way that Claire cares for Leon. I'm not saying Leon wants her to die or anything, he just doesn't seem as invested in her as she is in him. Finally got here, Leon. He just disappears. Like in the cutscene, it doesn't show where he runs off to, and it's just replaced with zombies there. Marvin, Marvin, are you there? Marvin? Ah, Marvin's got more important things to do, like bleed to death, slowly turn into a zombie. Bolt cutters. All right, let's see here.
Come on, stay down. What's up, mister? Oh, I missed you. He's not. Run, Claire, run. Good. Guess the fat cop don't want none. Okay. So what do we have here? Oh, we gotta drop some stuff off. going to mess up my inventory because I don't remember really carrying two knives into this part. But we'll see. We're going to lose the bolt cutters. We got to pick up the plastic detonator. And intense music for no reason. Don't know where that one zombie lady went, but can't say that I care that much. Alright, so we got this. Oh, uh, we shouldn't have picked that up. I guess we don't need to pick that board up. Alright, let's go upstairs. I guess we could drop shit off. That's what we're gonna do. Cop ladies up. Alright. Where are you at, copper? You at the end of the hallway? Is he gonna get up? I don't want him to get up while I'm bullshitting with you. Uh, you're chilling right at that door. That's the second time a zombie startled me. Seriously? Yeah. That totally should have hit her. Damn it. Yeah, I'm not shooting too hot. Come on, lady. Come up the stairs. Wow. She's going to get back up. Totally going to get back up. She's going to be right outside that door when I run through it. Those are very inopportune placed zombies. Mr. Liquor. That's a liquor. He's terrifying. Let's get this. Flame rounds, the flash grenade, and the battery. Should have just put that right in there. There we go. Alright, we'll take this first aid spray because I have a feeling I'm going to get hit by this guy. This just hasn't been a smooth run, so let's... Oh, plan for the worst. That might have been stupid. Definitely shouldn't have ran out that door. That's how you end up dead, alerting the liquor. At least that's how I end up dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Of course. You did. Okay. That was a bit more stressful than it should have been. But we survived. Very rocky start. Probably just because I know that I usually suck with Claire. It's getting in my head. All up in my head. Blowing stuff up, that'll help clear my head. Yeah, I know. I know you ain't dead, Mr. Zombie. You got plans for me. To eat my brains. But I don't want my brains eaten. Alright, let's get this made in medallion. What is it? Maiden face. Bow and arrow. Snake. Ooh, so shiny. Suck on that. Let's get this medallion in place and then we're gonna go and fight William Birkin. That's the plan. And hopefully we don't die. I don't honestly think we're gonna die. We might end up using more of the flame ammo than I'd like to because I've been blowing through my handgun ammo. Because I normally don't even take the flame grenades. Oh, I'm not taking the flame grenades. Let's just hope our accuracy is good. Take that. And we're going to take another set of herbs. And that's it. Oh, we can mix this. All right. Coming, Mr. Birkin. That we are. What's our time at? 31 minutes. That's not really that good. It's, I don't think we're in jeopardy of not getting the S plus, but I'm wondering why it's at 33 minutes. I feel like I, uh, I guess I backtrack a little bit more than I normally do. Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hello? I usually come Hello? in somewhere like around two hours and five, two hours and eight minutes. Oh, you can't move the cabinet. Or did they cut it with are you prejudging that monster? Are you anti-monster, Claire? I'd like to think you were a bit more open-minded. I'm gonna deal with you real soon, Birkin. Don't worry. I got gotcha. you. I'm coming for ya. Have a knife in the old eyeball. He 
doesn't seem to be that that pleasant of a move. I tried, Mr. Monster. I really did. I tried to be your friend. Now I gotta put you down. Knife, 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 knife. Run, Claire. Didn't get any eyeball hits with that knife, though. Cherry. Guess we're mixing these. That's fine. I think we, what, had to use one first aid spray? Oh, uh, no, we used uh, herb too, I think, when we fought the liquor and that zombie at the beginning that bought us. Bit us, be. not bought us. We're not for sale. You got it. She has too much respect for so, that. What's your mom like? She's also a terrible mother. A pharmaceutical company? My mom's always at work. I don't get to see her much. Well, yeah, she's an evil genius. So, where is your dad? He, um... He's not around. Both of my parents are gone, and it's just me and my brother. Oh. <laughs> Over there! Old creepy ass police chief irons. It's closed. 
I don't even want to know what goes through his sick mind and what he's doing with the people that he takes up okay. to that nursery. Key card first, and then that asshole gets what's coming to him. That's right, Claire. He's worse than any of the monsters that we're seeing here. Let's get these flame grenades. Sneak past these liquors. Liquors I hate oh so much. We will get the gun once we circle back. Then we're gonna have the wonderful task of walking around with Mr. X stomping through the police station. No problem with you, Mr. Liquor. I'm just on my way to try and save a little girl. They're so aggressive. They just need to chill out. Take a deep breath. Flashbang. Always use an extra flashbang. Just go back in there and sleep, Mr. Zombie. You burn the hell up. Let's get our diamond key. And I figured this little trick out one day. Let's see. Come here, Mr. Liquor. Come on. Come on. Come get me. And he's gone. Both of them are clinging to this wall over here. I don't want any problems. Just going on my way. You'll never see me again. You horrible, ugly, hideous beast that I want nothing to do with. Yeah. I see ya. Just, I mean, I could go in here, and I think there's a red herb. I guess I should pick it up. Normally, I just do it to get rid of the diamond key with her. I never come in here when I'm Leon. I do have to get all the film rolls still on this save. On this profile, I should say. And let's just make our way through here. We're gonna go upstairs to Chief Iron's office. Start worrying about Mr. X. Must be where that guy came from. Yeah, you could smell him. Cheap aftershave. down here but I'm gonna go back and get it now there's no sense in doing all that then it's right out here it's not gonna take that much longer he said even if I'm 15 20 minutes slower we should still be able to get the S plus just feel like we had a really rough go at the first half of the police station. Alright. I 
the first pistol, the revolver she has, it's decent, it's strong, and then it gets that, like, upgraded ammo. Uh, but I also enjoy that other pistol of hers, the JMB or whatever. I like the large magazine. Seems to have a pretty steady fire. saving Sherry Birkin from that monster. I kind of wonder who the most repulsive bad guy in all of the Resident Evil franchises. I feel like Chief Irons, I mean, he's not really within the Umbrella Corporation, but he does seem just like a super skeezy character. Wesker's pretty messed up. Who was it in 3? Nikolai. That guy's a sleaze bag. This is what we're going with. Uh, I don't like that. Let's get a knife. We'll take the broken one. Even though there's going to be one in the room we're going to right now. That's fine though. Always a little foggy on the best way to run through this. Because we can go down there now, but we can't go to the diamond key door. Like you can on the Leon playthrough. here. 26 ammo. Should be enough to drop these guys. If I hit them with the bullets, of course. Oh, that's a crit. I ain't mad at that. You're way over there, but I am gonna drop you right now. Just cause. Well, just cause I can. Yeah, we're not going to pick that up. That's fine. <sighs> Got to get the cog. I don't know why I tried to pick that up. I knew my inventory was full. this up. Let's get this jewel box. Mr. Liquor, ain't got time for you. Okay. Let's open this up. Put it into our inventory. We should probably drop those flashbangs off. Well, no, I'm gonna keep the flashbangs because I know I'm gonna have to come across liquors. go no health, we're going no health, and no flashbangs, we're going to stop off somewhere. That's fine. I hope it's fine. We'll see if it's fine or not. Alright, Mr. X. I'm ready for you. I 
like how I grabbed the box, but I didn't get the red jewel when I stopped in there. That's all right. I'm gonna stop off somewhere else to go into my inventory. Oh no! You're all right. Don't worry about it, Claire. She's gonna grab us, though. Oh, she did. We are getting a lot of crits, though. I can't be mad at that. No matter how poor we were performing early on, it's okay. So we're not really hurting on ammo, or we're not really hurting on health. So I'm not gonna sweat it. I probably should backtrack. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna backtrack. Did I pick this knife up? Oh. No, I want that knife though. Are you running into shit, Claire? Drop some stuff off. Then we'll deal with Mr. X. Get the lift? Is that what it is? Whatever you put into the library bookshelf to get it unjammed. That. That. Get the red jewel. in our way along. I know you're waiting for me there, mister. I'm coming. up ass face but you sure know how to dress come on come get some all right so where are we heading first diamond door diamond door That it mod of Mr. X looks pretty awesome, though. I still haven't got to see either one of those movies. I really, really liked the book and the first movie, so I'm sure I'm going to love the reimagining of it. Alright, and we got one of these safes coming up here, which I can struggle with at times, most times. A bronchi. I don't want that. Oh yeah, I can pick that up. All right, come on. Thank goodness. Not great, but as I said, I spend a lot of times on those sometimes, so I'm fine with that right there. Let's pick this little gunpowder up, because we have this gunpowder in this hallway we're going to get. I'm trying to remember, there's going to be that female cop zombie that's probably right outside this door. I have a knife. I don't really want to waste it, but I have a knife. Let's pick this up. Oh, I could go to the one room. What am I doing? Gotta get my gun. Now, normally, I mean, I would say you should pick this badge back up. Because 
because, I mean, you can get the upgrade for the machine gun that way, and um, it just makes it a better gun. However, I don't go back upstairs at that point. I feel like that saves me about three or four minutes on my time, so I'm not all that concerned with picking that badge back up. I am concerned with him being right out here, though, on my heels. Because this is a crappy part. I do not care for this part right here so with Claire. Oh, he's right there. Okay, alright. We're mixing it up. So, we have to go. Alright. We're gonna go through our favorite hallway. Leave me alone. I want nothing to do with you. Why are you so angry? I mean, probably because he was made in a lab and genetically modified to be that way, but... I mean... Chill out, dude. I guess we can go through here. Shh, be very, very quiet. Right. We should have a little bit of distance between us. I hope we do, because I gotta go past this liquor out here and still pick shit up. into them. Leave me alone. I don't want any drama. I just want to live my life. You're coming through here, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Alright, come on. skipping a few beats there but he should be far enough far enough easy for me to say he should be far enough away though that we don't have to worry about him fucking with us here all right come on claire move those bookcases to get the final electricon electriconical. Wow, I'm getting all tongue-tied right now. Just making up words. Electronical part. Alright, come on, Mr. Zombie. Oh, he's right there. That one usually doesn't get that close. because he's emotionally vulnerable. Alright, give me my cog back. Let's get this big gunpowder in this back hallway here. I can also get the Mr. Raccoon statue if I haven't got it yet. So glad Mr. X can't come in here. Did I get it? No, I did not. Now I got it. Yeah, there's a few key spots to go to if you need to regroup when Mr. X is following you. There's the uh, photo development room, uh, the star's office where we left the badge, uh, this room he can't come to. But I mean, honestly, you should really only need one pass through this hallway, unless you want to try and get everything and you don't have the inventory space when you come here. But uh, this room's safe. 
I can't think of any other rooms that are safe. On the Leon game, the room where you come up from the garage is safe. Or that long hallway of windows leads up to it. Mr. X won't go in there. Thankfully, Claire's not going to have too much time left with Mr. X as soon as we get through this. I have a feeling he's going to be right to the left when we come out here, though. Sounds like he's pretty close. I know we're going to have to deal with a zombie in here. question is, is he going to be right in front of us, or is he going to be on the path that's the hard right? And he was right in front of us. Thankfully, we got a crit on this guy, so we don't have to worry about him. And we gone. Alright, where are we going? Oh, I know where we're going. Lost my train of thought there for a second. I should have checked our time, though, when I paused it. Okay. So let's go in here and get geared up for when we gotta fight the dogs. Don't need that. Don't need that. I will take a blue-red mix. Green-red. Take a knife and this electronic part. So we'll take a flash grenade. Alright, I'm on your ass, Chief Irons. You horrible man, you. Kidnapping poor Sherry Birkin. Probably holding her for ransom. That her horrible mother's never gonna pay. Because, well, she's too concerned with making G-viruses. I don't know why I paused there. I was thinking it out. Oh, we're finally going to get back to the garage. As soon as we do this horrible sherry part. That is just a pain in my ass. I'd rather do the Ada part. Even though when I initially played the Ada part, I died so much because I couldn't find the conduit to use our visualizer on and I just kept backtracking over zombies I wasn't getting any crits so they just kept getting back up Let's see if I remember this it's not it Probably the wrong one here, then, eh? There we go. Probably not under 30 or 60 seconds, but I'm pretty sure I already have that little unlock. Oh, this is just so time consuming and tedious. What is this? This is your own personal hell, Sherry Birkin. And she grows up to be a badass. Is she in the BSAA? I don't know if she's in the BSAA, but she's definitely fighting, like, bioterrorism. Gets a cool healing factor. I know a lot of people really hated Six. Personally, I, I really enjoyed Six. I mean, it's not my favorite one, but I love the multiplayer of it. I mean, the campaign was a little over the top, but, I mean, most Resident Evil games, their story is pretty outlandish. I really like the way the controls handled. I'm kind of bummed out we're not going to see, like, what's actually going on with Jake Mueller in the future. We're not quite yet there, Miss Sherry Birkin. 
got to no, deal with this fat piece of shit. Listening to his opera. Run, Cherry. Run. You are gonna be so fucking sorry. Go away! I feel like he's the type of guy who, like, his breath always smells like, like he's been drinking coffee. And then it kind of just sticks around in the whiskers of it. His mustache, and he's just... He's a gross human being. Oh, jeez, I hate this part. Come on. Drag your sorry ass up here. It's all over now. Doors locked. You got acid on your face. Uh, you got outsmarted by a little girl. Where are you? Show yourself. Nah, I'm I cool. know you're in here. I don't want to be caught me to find by you. you. The worse it's gonna be. What are you gonna do to her, you creepy bastard? I don't want to know what you're gonna do to her. It can't be anything that... Anything that I want to think about. Just like what you did with the mayor's daughter. Bitches gotta be here somewhere. Don't call me out of my name. Run, Sherry. Well, not run, but move at a very brisk pace, because we don't want to get caught. Alright, that's a weird Pinocchio doll. <sighs> this guy is a horrible cop. He's not good at looking for things, in the least. Maybe he was in his youth, then once he ascended the ladder, he, he just didn't have to hone his skills anymore. He just worked on dissecting young women. He's a creepy fucker. Come on, man, let me get your key so I can get out of here and get into those sewers. It burns. Yeah, chemicals will do that. Give me my key. You melted face, bitch. Fuck is my key. I got it. Do you? You can't see me. Run, Sherry, run. I'm coming to you, Sherry! Leave me alone! Oh my god. Why was I having so much trouble running there? All right, on our way to the sewers. Once we get through, I don't know what to call that, a courtyard? There's like basketball hoops and a bunch of upturned vehicles and fire and zombies and doggos that I don't want to deal with. But still not as annoying as the dog part that Leon to has to go through. There. I'd rather dip through those liquors in the garage, then have to deal with the just dogs. Wait, yeah, you just wait. I'm gonna write a very stern letter to the congressman or woman and let them know that you're a bad man. A very, very bad man. Getting to one of my least favorite parts of the game. I definitely say the part where you're dipping through with Mr. X is my least favorite. Uh, but the sewers are the sewers are pretty annoying. 
Although, it's probably the one part with Claire that I would say is easier than with Leon. Simply because she goes in there starting with the flame rounds. Um, you don't have to get the chemical flamethrower where she gets the spark shot to deal with the adult G-Virus. So, it makes it a bit easier. She does have that one room when you're going up to the tram that it's like filled with a bunch of zombies which Leon doesn't have to deal with, but, I mean, other than that, it's, uh, it's an easier run for Claire, in my opinion, which normally, I think Leon is a bit easier. Oh, you're gonna grab me, aren't you, zombie? No. At least he didn't do that quick burst to grab me, because he was a little too close, too close for comfort. Keep your focus, Claire. I'm actually curious how far Mr. X will follow you up here. Because I've never seen him come up past the that little corridor there. Drop. She's not a bastard. I mean, I mean, unless she identifies as a bastard. Alright. Leave me alone, dogs. Oh, don't get stuck on the car. You got this, Claire. Alright. Oh, this little courtyard when you're doing the extra playthrough with the girl who's escaping irons is so freaking... It took me a while to realize you gotta sneak in there past the liquors. I got my knife on, I got my knife on. Let's get this grenade right here. Oh my goodness, I've actually been grabbed by that zombie before after stabbing him. I feel like you should have... You do have a couple of seconds or at least a second of immunity frames, but... He definitely grabbed me. I think because I was in caution, and maybe I was moving a bit slower, but I was surprised that he was able to lunge at me and grab me. You know, let's get this first aid spray and machine gun ammo upstairs. And then we're going to watch Chief Irons get his chest exploded. Because, well, I hate Chief Sherry, Irons. Are you here? I like Nikolai, though. I mean, Nikolai is probably just his psychopath. Psychopathic? He's a psychopath, and uh, probably does just as much screwed up stuff, but I like Nikolai. I don't like Chief Irons. Maybe because Nikolai's like a badass soldier dude, and Chief Irons really isn't. I mean, he doesn't have any redeeming qualities. Alright. So I am going to watch his chest burst open, just because, well, as I said earlier, I'd, I'd like to see this dude die. Uh, your fault! What? It took too long! What happened? Uh, Luca! Uh, get, get off me! Get uh, away! Yeah. Oh my god! <gasps> yeah, he did. Alright, let's go save Sherry. Coming, Sherry. Sherry, where are you? Claire, Sherry, I'll be right there. Run, Sherry. I'm not waiting for you. Go, go, go! Claire, it's behind you. Don't stop. Yeah, make like the Power Rangers. Alright, we're safe. Well, as safe as we can be. This crazy ass sewer. 
with a bunch of adult G viruses running around and zombies. But we good. Sherry's her daughter? Alright, what are we taking? This. Some flame rounds. I don't want to go through all my flame rounds. It would actually be nice if I could kind of squeak by some of these guys. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't have time to read documents. I have a girl to save. I got a flash. Oh, I didn't grab flashbangs, really. Sherry, can you hear me? How did I not grab a flashbang? Uh, oh well. Now I'm gonna smell like shit. Literally. It's all right, Claire. Once you get through this, you'll be able to get a nice hot shower, good meal in your stomach. And this will just seem like it was a, a nightmare. No way it's going to leave any psychological trauma on you. Oh, I can't believe I didn't grab a flashbang. This part's going to be kind of annoying then. You can't come through the door, though. Fuck it, I gotta do it. Had to do it. Oh my goodness. I'm just shit in the bed here, aren't I? Run, Claire, run! But make sure you get this first. And take your time opening a lock, because those zombies can't move when you're, you know, opening a lock. Alright, we made it. Wasted a grenade. Would have been a whole lot easier if we just had a flash grenade there, but, you know, it's alright. Let's get these puzzle pieces set up first. Chess pieces what I meant to say. I mean, it is a puzzle, but that's not what I was intending to say there. Alright, so what are we going to take here? We're going to take the grenade launcher. Do we have any handgun ammo? We don't need that. We don't need that. Oh, uh, I know what we're going to do. we got to drop this off. Get that one. Okay. That's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. Oh, I need another grenade. Going through our grenades though. I'm probably just gonna try and wreck these guys with the flame grenades then. Even though I tend to have a reserve of about two or three grenades left at the end. I think I'm not going to try and do that this time. Whether or not I take the grenades with me when we fight the last version of Birkin, because I've definitely gotten to him at times, gone through all my ammo, feel like I've hit all my ammo, and still have not done enough damage to get him to, to die. Uh, I should not pick that up yet. What's our time? Hour and 16 minutes. Yeah, we're we're on. This is like my normal course time here, I would say. I believe it's 8 to 11. No. 2, 12, 8. Not even close. Give me my enhancement. No, 
I definitely don't want to use that ammo. Is this going to mess with my inventory spacing? I think it is. It definitely is. I guess we're going to have to use these two grenades then. Definitely gonna have to deal with him later. Alright. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to discard something here. Probably my little handgun ammo I have would be what I would go for. Unless I have to use two grenades here. Which, as I said, I, it seems like I'm shorter on grenades than I have been on previous playthroughs, so. I don't know if I want to go wasting my grenades. We'll fill the situation out. All depends on how it goes when we get past this first adult G virus, whether we get past him or not. So we need at least four empty slots, five if you want to get the herbs. Alright, here we go. There's one. So loud. Oh, I've never seen that happen. We're gonna get in here and use it. Yeah, I don't ever remember the adult G viruses really hitting you aside from grabbing you up. I witnessed it the first time, uh, I think it was yesterday when I did the Leon playthrough, that, well, they will hit you. But it only hit him to caution. I wonder if he has a higher defense, like how Chris does in the original Resident Evil. Because that would make sense. And we solved our, uh, our spot problem, because well, we don't have to worry about uh, that inventory space for the herbs, because we had to use them. As I said, it's not like we're really hurting on herbs right now, so I'm fine with it. Come on, stand up. I don't want to deal with you on the ground. You bastard. Chill out, dude. Come on. Just let me get my shit. No need to be worried about you. Oh, uh, we are gonna have to discard something. I'll discard that blue herb. You're gonna get back up, I know you are. I don't care as long as you don't grab me. And we still might have to discard some ammo. I mean, I guess I could swing back to the chest. I may do that. We'll see. Alright. All we gotta get now is the Rook piece, and then we can make our way to fight the second Birkin. 
which yesterday he gave me some trouble actually. Are we just gonna be able to roll through here? Come on, let us roll through here. We rolling through here. Oh, they're so horrifying. I hate that sound. It just freaks me out. Still making horrifying voice. Oh my goodness! Wow, yeah, we're gonna go back. I was not expecting him to be there. Totally jump scared me. Uh, we might as well pick this red herb up now. Because we're not gonna be back through here without Sherry. Which means we're not going to be able to. We'd have to get out of the tram to go back and get it, and I'd rather just get it now. Can't believe that motherfucker startled me. Got a good chunk out of me, too. We can put the spark shot back as well. We don't have the rook piece yet, so we just got to put the queen here. Put the king over here. And let's get some stuff out of here. Drop this off. I mean, I feel like we don't uh, need to take that anymore. Oh, yes, we do. We definitely need to take that. Give me a green herb. Store that. Alright, that's what we're taking. <sighs> Alright. Almost there, Sherry. Almost there. Where are you at, Mr. Construction Worker? Are you really laying on the ground like you weren't just standing up? You're a terrible actor. Give me this grenade. I want nothing to do with you, Mr. Zombie. Another one. Come on. Don't be on fire. There we go. That should kill you. Burn. Come on. Oh my goodness, really? Being, being simple-minded. Come on, burn out. We gotta get.
get past one zombie. But wasted so many flame rounds, I'm kind of bummed about that. Yeah, you're not getting near me, bro. Not gonna happen. Alright. Well, here we come, Mr. Birkin. Definitely gonna pick this up. And... That was a very terrible sewer run. I thought my beginning half of the police station was bad. That was... It's pretty poor. But we're still alive. I mean, we're not doing great on ammo. We'll all see how it shakes out once we get past this Birkin. If we get past this Birkin. Alright, so we want... That. Gotta heal. Okay, what are we gonna take to fight this guy with? We don't need that. Oh, here we go. I thought I was in my chest. Don't need that. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, need that, don't need that. Let's take some flash grenades, take two of them. We're gonna take a mix of herbs, blue and red herb, and a green, green and red, blue. We don't need this. We'll just take two green and reds. We're gonna take this. Get the blue and red, we'll get that. We'll take a green, and then we're good. Alright, let's hope we have luck with this Birkin. I feel like I should actually have the other pistol. I don't know how much ammo's in it, though. So we're gonna take this pistol. All right, it's alright, I got the SMG. We're coming, Cherry. Bit more ponderous than usual, but we are coming. Don't want to mix it unless I need to at this point. Do want to mix that because I'm taking those. Is it this? One, two, four. All right, William, let's get this dance. Let's get this dance started. That's one strike. That's two strikes. Ah. and then the rest of the room's gonna catch on fire. Let me take this right now. Give me one more line. All right. All right, we got some work to do. I was about to call her Sherry. You're not Sherry, you're Claire. You should have known you would die. The hero to Sherry. Oh, he's really close. He's like running. Get off my ass, Birkin. Come get 
so. That should be a good distance. Have I got a surprise for you? I guess I shouldn't have reloaded it. Honestly. Well, I'll probably use that gun before the other one. Oh, I thought he had me. I thought he had me. That was way too close. Shotgun's good though, so I'm fine with the shotgun. Now you gotta come a little closer. I do not want to have to push that button more than once. Oh my god, I'm shooting like shit. No, don't kill us. Come on, ugly. Let's end this. That should be it. It's getting up a little quick there. Not quick enough, though. Way to go, Claire. It's been a very rough playthrough, though. Super rough. I'm so sorry, Sherry. Sure. Sandpaper rough. This is taking Grip forever. tape rough. Rough like having Chief Irons as a babysitter rough. Alright, Sherry, here we come. Carry your ass. I've been doing this whole game. Ned said her lab's not far. Wait. That cable car. Way to put two and two together. Hold on, Sherry. You're gonna be fine. Yep, you're gonna be just fine. We're gonna make sure that there, you end up having a super Almost sweet there. healing factor. And you're gonna be Saving the world. You're gonna be making the world a better place. No matter how horrible your parents tried to make it. You're gonna right their wrongs. Nope, we're leaving. Balls to the walls. Balls to the wall? One wall? Singular wall? This tram is bound for nest. Do not exit until the final destination. Alright. At the lab. Plant people, liquors, a few zombies. I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. I got this, Sherry. Unlike your mother, I'm gonna make sure you're okay. I can't wait. I'm impatient. I need to go. Once again, Claire Redfield is a rebel. She doesn't stand clear if she doesn't want to stand clear. Alright, we got the little thingy thing. Let's get this. Alright, so let's drop some stuff off. We don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need any of this stuff. We are gonna take the spark shot just because we know that we're gonna be picking that ammo up in there. Or the modifier for it. Enhancement. 
<sighs> so aside from the bosses, this part does not really concern me too much. Is he right there? I hope he's not right there. No. I can't wait to try your healthy foods that are probably not going to get me infected and turn me into some type of mutated freak. Where you at, soldier zombie? Got that crit though. Can't ask for more. All right. Let's go, Dr. Lee. We got some stuff to handle. This off, get our inventories, get our inventory set up for the next part of the lab. So we are going to take. I don't want to take the flame rounds. I really don't. I don't want to have to use those. I guess we're gonna try and get through these guys with. We're gonna take a couple flash grenades because we're definitely not gonna use those on any of the bosses. We'll take a mix of herbs. Don't have any handgun ammo. They are gonna give us some stuff to make handgun ammo. I guess we're gonna go with the SMG. And since it's small, it's not gonna take up. That's where we're going with. That seems like that's gonna be annoying. Let's go like this. Where's the other handgun? There we go. That's what we're going to go with. We're going to need the flame rounds eventually. Yeah, we should take that. We got two. We'll only take four though, because we're going to pick some up. I don't want to have to burn through too many of them, because I feel like we're going to need them for either, well, one of the Birkins. Either super mutated Birkin or the Birkin that we're going to fight. Once we get through doing all the herbicide stuff. I feel like my inventory is going to have too much junk in it though. Where are we at time wise? 140. Oh yeah, I mean. We're going to probably be slower than I, than I thought we were going to be. 2 hours and 5 minutes, 2 hours and 10 minutes. We're probably going to come in. Around 2 hours and 15 or so maybe. It should not take me 25 minutes. Actually, that'd be 35 minutes. No, it's not going to take 35 minutes to get through this. I'd say probably about 25 at the max. Alright, we don't need to stop off there. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Greenhouse is open. I believe it's this. Yep. Drug testing lab. What kind of drugs are we testing? Come on, let's kill these filthy plants. I hate them. I hate the plant people. They're way more horrifying than they were in the original copy. And again, most things, the horrificness has been amped up. Oh, jeez, we got way too much. Way too much. Alright, let's try and do this as quick as we normally do it.
Manual mode, engage. Adjust amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. There we go. Yeah, last time when I was trying this with Leon on my last playthrough, I was fiddling around for way too long with this puzzle. It's so simple. It should not be that trying. Especially as many times as I've done it. I mean, I get if you're going through the first couple times. But you've been playing this playthrough as much as I have. There should be no issue with getting that puzzle taken care of. Oh my goodness, I thought he grabbed me from behind, and I'm not sure if you can counter that. I think it turns you around because there's only one death animation from those guys. Alright, we're going to have to get that stuff later. We're going to have to deal with these guys. What, what was I thinking carrying all this crap with me? Because I can't even pick up the visualizer now. We're going to try something super risky. I don't know why we're trying this just to save inventory space, but we're going to do it. zombies if I was gonna flame him though. That makes sense. I mean, but oh well. I'm just playing rash. It's a problem for future Claire. Eat some lead. She won't get her flashlight out either. He could be right there and I can't see him. Bring your flashlight out. this so difficult for myself. Just damn them. Alright, let's check and see if these liquors are actually dead. Yeah, they did. Alright. I can't believe I wasted all that fucking ammo, though. That's some noob shit right there. Gotta set the frequency to Murph. I just had it and I was messing around with it. Making everything harder. I don't know why. Let's get this herbicide nice and chilled. 
Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. I don't have time for messages. Ooh. Damn. Should have packed my parka. Out of all the things you could pack, and all the things you faced during this, you being cold and packing a parka, I mean, couldn't you have packed, like, I don't know, more grenades, more health? She wants a parka, though. It rounds so. though. Oh, we can't pick that up. I could swear there was needle cartridges here, but it's not. I'm mistaken. Such a rocky playthrough, though. Like I said, though, it's that whole Claire thing with me. I just don't do well with Claire. Do I have any sub weapons? I do not have sub weapons. Yeah, let's try and put that in there. That's what you want to do, right? Dispensing. So much for the weed infestation. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your what are you going to do about that? Drizzling shits here. Blowing through ammo. Making pointless calls. Nothing here. There's a green herb over here, isn't there? Yeah, let's pick that up. Alright. I'm so worried about the last perk and if I get to him now simply because, well, I just feel like I've wasted so much ammo. There's going to be a couple zombies up here, Mr. Plant Man. circle back and get the fanny pack and then we're gonna make our way to Birkin and see how we fare
Come on, Claire. We gotta save Sherry. She needs us. We gonna have a lab coat doctor here? Lab coat doctor? I just wanna take your legs out, bro. Get it. Gotta go to the muff frequency. Some would say it's their favorite frequency. Got the fanny pack. Got that. Let's get out of here. I'm out. I'll even let you zombies out, come on. Yeah, everybody can party. Not like this place is gonna blow up in the next 20 minutes or so. Maybe it won't. Maybe I will die to uh, Birkin. I'm sure somebody would still set off the self-destruction though, even if we do end up dying. I feel like that would still be the end of it. And then I think they even uh, drop a nuke on this city anyway, so. I'm actually curious if it would affect this lab that's so far below ground. I guess it could be like a cave-in or something, but I'm not sure. We will find that antiviral agent. I wish you could make incendiary grenades for the grenade launcher instead of just the acid rounds, because I don't know, I feel like acid rounds aren't all that effective. There we go. I don't know why we're putting all that stuff away. We're gonna end up picking it all back up. I guess so we can mix all of our stuff up. Alright. I sure hope that the G-Virus cure is conveniently placed somewhere nearby that I could just pick up and not have to, like, investigate too thoroughly. I mean, this is a really big lab. Ginormous. Uh, why'd I do that? Give me my G virus cure. Oh, thank God. The antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. Alright, let's get all this ammo mixed up. Definitely taking the hand grenades. We don't need that. We're gonna need that. And that. Well, we don't have enough to make any submachine gun ammo. That's unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna take this. Give me this. Definitely gonna take the flame round. Should we take the flame rounds? Oh yeah, we do have enough to mix that and that together. Okay, so let's go like this real quick. Let's get some more SMG ammo. Okay, we're gonna need that to take. Got that. Take 
this, and then what's our other inventory slot gonna be? I guess another health. Yeah. Is that all of that ammo we have? It is. Alright, yeah, we definitely are hurting on ammo. But we gotta do what we gotta do. This is gonna be such a pain in the ass. Try and grab something. Make these shots count. What are we going? We need to pick this up.
Nice. All right. So we do have a lot of ammo that I wasn't expecting to have left over. But we'll see how it goes. Sorry for not talking too much during that battle. I, I have to concentrate. I still haven't mastered the art of being able to talk fluently and concentrate on hard things. In due time, in due time, I'll get better. So let's see here how we're doing. I'm still in a conundrum of what I'm going to end up taking to fight the last Birkin. Back to Sherry. But, I mean, we're, we're hanging in there. We pulled through. That fight wasn't terrible. Oh, we don't have to worry about taking the SMG, that's for sure. And we didn't use any flame rounds on them, which I kind of hope will uh, be as effective as they are on most enemies on the last Birkin. I remember taking 10 at one point with them, and I, I got through it. Uh, we are going to have to kill a couple plant people on the way to them, though. Why? Oh, I gotta get Sherry. I was like, why am I back here? Alright. Final hall. I don't want to rush you, but we have to go. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. We got it. Come on, hurry up, elevator. You're looking all right. I mean, your your eyes a little wonky, but you got the cure because of me and not your mom and your mutated daddy. Um, Claire. What's up? Yeah. Thank you for being so nice to me. For helping me. I'm really glad I met you. I'm really glad I met you too, Sherry. But save your thanks until I get you out of this place. Because who knows, we might not get out of here, Sherry. Warning. Got a whole bunch of shit ahead of you. Hope you're ready for it. Oh, jeez. Alright, we don't need this. Don't need that. We need the spark shot. Let's take the blue and red herb that we have here right now not have any other blue and reds. We don't have any other blue and reds? Oh, that sucks. Okay. So I shouldn't take that now, but we're gonna have to have room. I gotta get rid of something. We're gonna get rid of this. Where's the other flame grenades at? Uh... We're still gonna need two slots. Keep that. We're gonna have to get rid of health. But two health? No. We gotta get rid of that. We'll take it just before the fight. Okay. That's well actually hold on, because we're gonna be have to take two extra, so where's those flame rounds at? Come on. We gotta go, Sherry. Well, we're gonna find out whether or not we're gonna survive this in the next ten minutes. Let's see what we got going on. Run, Sherry, run. Hurry your little legs up. Right, 
Come on, pick this lock. Well, actually, you're not picking the lock. This stupid thing's locked. Hold on. Yeah, go over there. Sure. What do you? I think I can open it from the other I'm side. I'm so concerned about the ammo we have. I, uh, I'm not feeling good about it. God damn it! Your time sucks. Way to go, Sherry. Yeah, some of us do a bit more heavy lifting than the other half, but yeah, we're alright. That's, that's the final choice, eh? That's what we're going with. That's what we're going I just gotta commit. Can't think about it anymore. I should have taken it a little later, but oh well. so nervous about fighting this guy. Let's get it. Seven and a half minutes.
Okay. Come on. Let's go. So close. plus screen and then I think we're gonna call it all right very rocky yeah two hours and 16 minutes that's a bit slow we clunked our way through that one but uh thanks for watching I appreciate it and uh, you have yourselves a nice day I got no rules, I count them